MJ and BAD. So Creativity is just like an escape. It's just, I don't have any of those boundaries that I might feel like I have in life, be it due to society or just, yeah, you know, life. Marvel. I've got like this bank in my brain, right? And it's all these things that I've seen or I've been inspired by that I like kind of store. And then it's like when I go into, okay, it's time to create and write. It's like I go back into this bank and I'm just like pulling things out, you know, and I don't even realize it. At one of my first houses, my dad uh, was an MC and DJ. So he had like these massive speakers in the living room. And yeah, I just remember hearing sound coming out of these things that I didn't know anything about, but I was drawn towards it and yeah, here I am now. And I'm like, no long conversation. I go high every day. I'm in a flight mode. I'm in a my zone. London is so like diverse. There's like people of all different walks of life. You're drawn to learn more about these people, you know, because anything that's different from me, I'm like always keen to learn about it. Sport and and music, there's that there's that thing, you know, you've got you've got supporters, you've got people behind you, you know, be it on a field, on a stage, like there's there's people that are rooting for you, you know, and it's that energy is unmatched. We all have this this drive. This is a moment, you know, you're about to share your skill, your talent, your ability. 10 minutes behind the stage, behind the curtain of just amping myself up. I'm just ready to go, like I'm just waiting like, come on, drop the song. And when they say, who's ready for Nadia Rose? But then I hear everyone like, Wah! and it's just like, yeah, let's go, you know. And tonight I'm going for the home run. It's going out of the park, baby. <laughs>